Hey, what's up? Welcome to the show. Feeling good with Duddy. That's me. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Hey. Okay. Well, we are back with not another, but the very first live episode ever of Feeling Good with Duddy. Here at the Whiskey Republic. Thank you guys for having us. And as always, I am here with my brother and my co-host, Mr. Jake B. Thank you. And if you don't know who this lovely man sitting next to us is, our special guest today, he's on this tour with us. He plays in a band called The Interrupters. I think you guys might have known the art. Kevin Pavonis, what up? We dragged him out on a day off. I was like, oh, it's cool to have three days off, huh? He's like, yeah. I'm like, you want to have only two days off? Because <laughs> I can... still, still a day off. Oh, yeah. It, the rest of his off. band is at the Red Sox game right now? Yep. Is that where it is? Yes. He stayed back. He's ours. I know. I, I, I owe him one big time. So, like we said, thanks again uh, for coming out. The first ever live Feeling Good with Duddy podcast. Um, yeah, man. This is very, very cool. Uh, and uh, let me tell you a little background of how we met Kevin, just to get it going and to break that ice. We met Kevin, uh, what was that? 2010, on the very first Sublime with Rome tour that the Dirty Heads did, and he was Bud's drum tech. That's right. Bud, we've yeah. known this dude for years. My band went and recorded with him since we've met him. We did the first tour ever, the first big tour for the Dirty Heads when Lay Me Down hit, We Meet Kevin. And how did we meet Kevin? He's, he's Bud's drum tech. We say hi in the hallways. Uh -huh. You know, you barely get to say meet anybody. But after the very first show, everyone from this tour ended up backstage at this venue where there was a piano. And there was someone on the piano that, I swear to God, you, you could yell out any hit song. <laughs> People were just like, fucking Freebird, you know, just yelling out song, And then, boom, playing it perfectly. And everyone was singing every word to these hit songs. That's how we met Kevin Bavona. I don't remember that this, as vividly as you do, but I believe it, and definitely been practicing Freebird a lot. Life, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't play a show. concert without somebody in the fucking bushes. Just play free. I know. All so right. we we Captain actually original. It. So yeah, we do that sometimes. I'll do the guitar solo behind my behind my head. If someone yells it, you'll do yeah, it. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, you know what? We have a guitar in that bus, <laughs> and we're gonna have to make that happen before the end of this show. Maybe so. So Kevin wasn't only on that tour with us. We had also done a long time ago a tour with a band called Sugar Ray. And um, <laughs> well, you know what? The drummer from Sugar Ray, Stan, he actually helped us produce our, our first album. Great dude. And he worked really hard on that with us and, and taught us a lot in that studio. So then, you know, they kind of weren't doing much at that point anymore. But then they were having like a little somewhat of like a reunion tour. And they're like, hey, would you guys come out with us? We're like, of course. And Kevin was on that one as well with a different band called the Telecasters. Yeah, so we did the West Coast leg. That's right. So it was us and then Amy Allen, yep. Dirty Head, Sugar Ray, and that's where we met Amy, and she's the singer of the Interrupters, and that's where it all started, actually. So on that tour, Amy Allen's one of the acts. The Telecasters are one of the acts. He's in the Telecasters. Amy Allen is just Amy Allen at that point. They meet. They not only met that tour, and then started a band together, they are now married. Yeah. <laughs> yes, see? That's the Come type on. of reaction I'm looking for, Providence. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so if you guys don't know about the Interrupters, it's <laughs> Kevin, his two, he, his two brothers, who yeah, are yeah. identical twins, and his wife. Yeah. That's the band. It's a true family, it's you know? True. Yeah. And then they got Billy. Yeah, yeah no, right. no, and Billy's like an adopted Billy's the brother. Man. Yeah, he is. The man. And Billy's actually uh, their horn player slash, uh, he does some keys too yeah, as well. Yeah. And we've been having him come up on stage with us th this tour and play horns for Supermoon. So that's Billy. He plays yeah. in their band, if you've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, yeah. Now you guys know Kevin. I had some notes. I should look at them. Look at those notes. How's tour going so far, bud? You know, so far, so good. I have to say, uh, East Coast goes a little harder. So we're looking forward to Mansfield. Yeah. Connecticut was rad. Look, dude, 
we love the West Coast. We're we're from the West Coast. We're from yeah, Southern yeah. California. But they're so spoiled with entertainment. Every, you know, everyone lives there or tours there so rapidly that people literally show up to shows. They don't dance. They don't want to get sweaty, and they're definitely going to a nightclub after. <laughs> Out on the East Coast, it's like we're fucking stage diving on the first yeah. song. Everyone's covered in sweat. It's pretty rad. Not all West Coasters, if you're listening, not fucking you. You're awesome. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Okay. Yeah. Everyone else, though. Ah. Yeah. I, oh, may, also, I may be pandering. Sometimes you get to a city and you're like, wow, Mansfield. Man, they didn't have this kind of spirit in Hartford the other day. <laughs> but I do mean it in the moment. I really do. Yeah. And this is a beautiful thing that all of you guys came out for the live podcast. This is incredible. Look at this. Kevin, what do you do on stage if you're feeling nervous? Anytime I'm feeling nervous on stage, I'll go, Providence, Rhode Island, make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One of the early tours on the show, it was at the longest named venue. It was like Soaring e Eagle Indian <laughs> Gaming <laughs> Casino and Resort. And this dude was just, he comes out on stage and he's burning everybody. He's... Yes, thank you, Soaring Eagle Gaming, Indian, Rosinos, Casort, fuck it. He would say the entire <laughs> name. It was fucking hilarious. Dude. You got it. You Is that another it. thing you do when nervous? Yeah, well, also just to, you know, respect the venue, you know? With a hey, name shout like it that. Out. And Spa! He, like, didn't even forget the fucking <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Oh. Dude, how about Jimbo and Jackie? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Come on. Dude. We're going to get them back up here later. Shamskis. Okay, so the first time we, we had them on the show, and then they made us the Shamskis, and I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding. It's not that bad. It was surprisingly good. I was like, holy shit, I actually like this. Wow. That's the tagline, Shamskis. Yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> holy shit, I actually like this. And I got another funny story. Where were we eating yesterday? Nancy, help us out. P.F. Chang's. P.F. Chang's in the mall. In, what's the name of the mall right there? We go to Providence Place, we go to lunch, and Nancy was waiting, and both of these lovely ladies were like waiting on us a little bit, and we found out that tonight was, Na is, today is Nancy's birthday, and so we said, you gotta come down, dude. Yeah! So, that's right. She was so sweet and awesome. We're like, you gotta come to our show, and they did, and we're so stoked to have them here, yeah. So on count of three, let's just say, happy birthday to Nancy. One, two, three, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Nancy! Beow, beow. <laughs> She'll be taking shots all night. Just hand them to her. I got my duddy drop. Oh, it didn't even work. Is Nobody that, can is that hear audible? that. That's not audible. All right, fuck that shit. That's over. Where's That's your boombox? I told you, you should have used the boombox. I'll just have to say the drops. One time at band camp. I can <laughs> count. All right, that'll be later. <laughs> Bling. Uh, so it says here in my notes, tour update. All right, here you go. I got something for you. You guys all saw that awesome bus, right, with Duddy's face on the side, feeling good with Duddy, Cutlass Brown. Yeah, that bus made it exactly to Arizona. That was about four and a half hours from our house, and that shit blew up, dude. <laughs> so here's the feeling good with Duddy bus. Dude, shit happened on our face. That wasn't the bus. That was a club we went to later that night. But yes, so the bus broke down in Arizona. We're stranded in a parking lot four hours from our house going, well, this is a great tour. And then we hopped on a second bus that drove us to Ohio. And then a third bus met us in Ohio and then broke down on the way to our second show. Yeah, and then we fixed it in the parking lot of a Mexican food restaurant in Michigan. At least there was food. It was food. It was good food. We were like, let's go in there and eat. But then the bus got fixed. We left. And then as we pull into the Soaring Eagle gaming Indian fucking spa, you know, <laughs> casino and card deck house. And resort. <laughs> the engine fucking blew up again on the third bus. And without any joke, mechanics were soldering together our engine on the ground out in front of the Indian gaming casino. And we limped through the rest of the tour to here tonight. So at least we made it here. That's just our bus. I don't know how your guys' experience has been. Oh, man, my bus is fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Smooth sailing. Hasn't so broke down once. Smells like a brand new car. <laughs> it does. Ours smells like a broken toilet. His smells like a brand new car. It's a beautiful tour. Uh, but on the brighter side, the feeling good with Duddy bus, we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. 
Hopefully we make it to the next gig. So yeah, that's, I guess, the tour update. Other than that, uh, and I've seen some people here wearing merch from this tour. So thank you for coming, and anyone coming to any of the future shows, can't wait to see you. I see your old school one, too. Thank you for coming in the past. Yes, uh, it has been an awesome tour. All the bands, Bikini Trill, uh, The Dreamers, which The Dreamers is the only band on the tour I had never heard of before, and they're fucking awesome. I actually really like that band. If you haven't heard The Dreamers, check them out. They're dope. And then The Interrupters, who just put on an amazing show, uh, The Dirty Heads. <laughs> yeah. Boo! Oh! But, you know, it is pretty crazy. One of the very first tours, actually the very first, like, national tour we ever did, 311 took us out on tour. So now, you know, 10 years later, to be kind of, like, co-headlining, sharing, you know, the spotlight with them a little bit, it's a little surreal and a little weird, too. You're just like, whoa, wait, some nights we're going after you? I don't know how I feel about that. But we do, and it's awesome, and they're such rad guys, and it's just such a cool tour to be on, so thank you guys for all the support. We appreciate it. Yeah. Who was at the last show? There was a lot of people at the last show said they were driving here. Yeah? I met you at the show, dude. He was. You. Yes, I did. I right saw on, you in the a crowd. people over here? Yeah. Two-hour drive or so? That's another thing Southern California won't do. Sorry, Southern California. I'm from there, too. If my friends are playing two cities over, I'm like, I'll catch you when you're in town, bub. <laughs> That's a 15-minute drive. I got shit to do. Netflix. Oh, fuck. Really? Again, though, unless you're watching, yeah. you will yeah. fucking... If you're watching from Southern California, I'm sure you would drive across the country. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You're a loyal, loyal fan. No, you wouldn't, dude. Right? Is it just me who's a total piece of shit? I All think right, so. Awesome. I, think, yeah. I think it's a Jake that won't drive to do anything. Bro, I'm a fucking hermit, dude. I'm on this tour like, what am I doing, dude? I want to go. I'm like, I never leave my house. This, I'm a curmudgeon. I'm an old Jew. Fucking do it, true. Jake. You know you want to do it? All right, this everyone... phone's locked. <laughs> this could not be. You guys don't you, care. You got the passcode? You got to put the code in? Wait, everyone, wait, everyone, be quiet. Wait, wait. wait. Daddy and I are Jews. Oh, got that in. That's a, one of my favorite drops. You could have just said that. It's the timing. I'm just known for really great with that. You know what? I'm going to go into the subject of the day. Right? Is that cool? We're going to go in yeah, earlier. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Every show, we always like to have some sort of subject that makes you feel good, something inspirational. We're actually going to touch a little bit back on one that we did on an earlier episode, but... Just trying something new, attempting something that you've always wanted to do, but it's a little scary and you're a little nervous to try it because you don't know how it's going to work out. But in the back of your you know, head or somewhere, you're just like, man, I really want to try this, though. This right here, this live podcast, we were talking about it earlier. Uh, I could play a concert in front of a million people. I wouldn't think twice about it. I was fucking nervous about this. I was like, I just got to go up there and talk with no guitar and Jared's not going to be hyping the crowd up. Like... So it was different. It was weird, but you know, you're like, let's just do it. We'll just see how it goes. The worst that can happen is people boo us and we have some drinks. <laughs> Could be worse, you know? So, you know, thank you. I love you too. And you love tacos, I see. Oh, hell yeah. I no, mean, who I'm doesn't? Hungry. But yeah, man, if there's something that you've always wanted to do and you just haven't tried it because you're a little scared, you're not sure how it's going to turn out, just do it. Just give it a go because the last thing you want to do is be 80 year old you going, Fuck, I wish I would have tried that. Now I can't because I'm 80. We should have done that show in Providence. What the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> right Providence, Rhode Island, Island yeah. makes some noise. <laughs> 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 wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so yeah, man. How do you feel about that subject? You guys got anything you want to touch on that? What have you done that scares you, bud? Well, you know what's interesting is it's not... Scary isn't the word I would use, but this tour for the Interrupters is interesting because we're exposing ourselves to a whole new fan base that we hadn't been exposed to before because we come from, you know, more like street punk, punk rock world. Our first tour was with Rancid and, you know, we've gone out with bands like Bad Religion and, and you know. Both so amazing coming, bands. Yeah, great bands, but we also grew up loving reggae, loving Sublime and loving 311. So being able to go on this tour, was it's almost like a branch of the same tree, but a different branch. So there was something exciting, but also kind of like you didn't know how it was going to land, but the shows have been awesome. Oh, so dude, the us, crowd's been, been loving you guys. Yeah, and it's, and it's a different energy, but I feel like we all kind of like grew up loving the same stuff, so it works. And, yeah. and so to speak to that, you know, doing something maybe outside your comfort zone 
this could be it on paper, but in real life, it totally makes sense, and it's been yeah. killer. Well, the great thing, I think, about 311 fans, Dirty Heads fans, they're just, they're, I think they're just music lovers, and they just really enjoy live music, and they come out, and they support the opening bands. If they haven't heard of them, they're listening, and they're, they're like, ooh, I, I want to see what this band's like, and they'll, they'll go check them out online. They'll go to that, that smaller band's local show next time, you know? They're, they support not just their band they're there to see, they're, they su support music in general, and it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. yeah and they're here right now, you can see. Yeah, and they support podcasts. You guys Live are just supportive podcasts. people. You just like having fun is what I get from Dirty Head yeah. fans, right? Yeah. I'm at the merch booth every night. What do you like to do? I like to feel good. Oh, oh I was shit. just going to do that. I was just going to do it. Fucking Segway captain over here. He stole it from you, bud. That's it. I was going to say, fuck, I lost it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Attaboy. Well, the, nice the fact one. that you were 14 episodes deep makes me feel good. And speaking of feeling good, you God can't hear. damn you can't it, hear it. It's not going to work. Speaking of feeling good, we have some sponsors on this podcast that make us feel good. And the first one is Polar Ski. Oh, this is live, Jake. I can't go back and edit this shit. Well, don't get that Polar Spring money. It's proper 12 uh. whiskey. It is delicious. I know they don't serve it here, so I'm sorry, but... Grab any whiskey from the bar and join us in a shot. And right. we are going to take a shot, and it's, it's, it's fucking great whiskey. If you haven't tried Proper 12, give it a go. <laughs> get, a, get a bottle, take a shot with your friends, and take a picture and tag us. I fucking swear I'll send you something. <laughs> We've been promising... Just for Kevin, this is for Kevin. <laughs> We've been promising to send people a, a gift for... I'm going to do it! We've never... Yeah, Duddy continues to promise. The only thing I can promise you is that you probably will not get... We're, uh, we're getting it. We're getting on it. Uh, David, send these people something. something. Pour Proper 12 into an envelope. Send it. Duddy will give you money tonight, dude, out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you are shit. All right, All right leave do Leave us it. your email I address. I promise you'll, you'll see something by Friday. That's We're, all, we're just on it. Uh, and while he's doing that, we'll talk about a couple other uh, sponsors we have. Uh, Sticky Vapes. There's, there is a pen in there, trust me. It's just clear. It's not a pen in there. It's just a package. Oh, that's for Daddy. I don't. Dude, all right, all right. Okay, here's what happened. Here's what fucking happened here. Give me a hot... The bus broke down, the first bus. And we had... And, dude, yes. Okay, so you got, you got it. This, I was supposed to save this as like a, look at us. And then all of our weed got packed into the trailer. And I said, boys, break out the fucking sticky vapes, dude. Because I'm <laughs> They not roasted doing... them all. They roasted them all. So here's the, the packaging. So, sticky vape, great company, great product. Stickyvape.com. Check it out. We've got our own Dirty Heads ones. We got an Indica. We got a Sativa. It's great. I can't run around town with a bong in my pocket. That's just too big. So we got this sticky vape. And I don't want bong water on my leg. It stinks. <laughs> Let's take this shot. Duddy's new bong water cologne will be hitting mm. shelves fucking shortly. <laughs> Anyone bong else drinking water. shots? Hey, whatever you're drinking, put it on Cheers. up. Cheers! Yeah. Yeah. Boink, boink, boink. Blink. Yeah, don't make fun of our shot sizes. Okay. So good. All right. And also, Koi CBD. You know, if you've been listening to this, I love this shit. These drops are gold. I take them every single morning. They relax me. I get uh, bad tendonitis in my wrist and elbow. I played baseball my whole life, and then I and then you know torn in the band playing whole guitar. Life. All right. Still playing. I don't know if you've heard, but I've thrown out uh, four first pitches. <laughs> that's pretty much a. I I walk the guy. That's that's the whole. That's a whole batter. <laughs> So uh, it's great, though, for your joints. If you're someone who has some sort of pain um, in joints or whatever, inflammation, and you're constantly taking pain pills, like, like Advil's, and try, try uh, CBD. I think you're going to like how it makes you feel. It's a lot healthier for you. And they come in so many delicious flavors. Koi. Koi. Make some noise. <laughs> KoiCBD.com. You put in code DuddyB at checkout. That's 20% off for you. Can't beat it. And last but not least, I have it in my pocket because I forgot to put it in here. On it. 
another amazing company. Two N's, O-N-N-I-T. This, com this company has so many amazing supplements and just vitamins and packs and awesome things. And this one, this melatonin spray I use on the road. We're in a band. We get off stage late. It's hard to go to sleep sometimes. All that loud music, you're running around. Couple melatonin sprays. Whack. I'm out. Boom. On it. Dot com forward slash study. 10% off. Boom. Get on it. Get on it. We did it. We got through it. And we just want to say thank you to the Whiskey Republic for letting us do this. Dude. Oh, yeah. We only found this venue three days ago. David from Reamp Studio found. So the fact that you guys are all here on three days' notice is a fucking amazing thing. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and here's a funny fact about the, the Whiskey Republic. Duddy, tell him what happened when you walked oh, in so, here today. Oh, yeah, the, uh, I think it was the manager or someone was here. He's like, do you guys know that you, you played here like five, six years ago? I was like, oh, shit. Well, I guess the Dirty Heads did like a little surprise acoustic radio thing here in the morning like five or six years ago. Yeah. Full circle. We I bet. wish someone would have said something six years ago. Right? She's all pissed off. Who the fuck? <laughs> well, I would have fucking been there. Yeah. Where do we go? It was what before do we do? Instagram. All right, who knows? What are you, are you gonna play us a song? Yeah. What are you? What? Why are you? What is this? Why are you? What is? Who? Oh my God. Look, look, look. We don't have the time to go into. Some sort of, <laughs> if I leave here tomorrow. <laughs> no. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> if I. Uh, no. There's not enough there's battery clock, life there, in the camera yeah, for that. Yeah, it's true. There's an invisible clock running, and it doesn't have Freebird in it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Freebird clause. Actually, we played it an hour ago. We have to wait another 30 minutes. If you want to play Freebird, you need to go to a guitar center. It's the only place you're allowed to play that. Bloody Duddy shirt right there, dude. I see it. Bam, son. Uh, like that, that was that picture right there was drawn by Mr. Red Page at We're, the Cutlass booth. And the one thing Red loves more than drawing, it's friend requests. Hit oh. him up with friend requests. He loves them. Everybody in here with a phone, find Red Page on Instagram and send him a hitter. Send him a little request. Slide into yep. the DDs. Do it. Yep. Yep. You also, should. have you guys been watching all of the live shit we've been doing on Feeling Good with Daddy at the merch booth? Yeah, you saw, you saw Hacky Sack. Somebody brought us a Hacky Sack. That was awesome. We asked for a Hacky Sack. Next show we shall receive, and we did. And we... What's up? No, 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 let's go. Is that a thing? Actually, it's a, well, there's this, a line in the Sloss Revenge song where I say, I'm, I'm hippie like a Hacky Sack. And this thing started that now... As I say that line, people throw hacky sacks at me. And the best part is that sometimes they hit me in my sack. So it's just like, oh, no. It's a daddy sack. Yeah. It's... Yeah, now we just have to learn how to kick it more than once. We got, the, we got the hacky sack at the last show, and we tried, man, and everyone at the whole venue was like, dude, stop. Stop it. You're kicking flies, dude. What's so, next, Dotto? So, you know, we're, we're going to do some things later we have planned, but before we get into that, I kind of just want to finish out the normal things we do on this show. So, Kevin, you got a band camp story? I have so many band camp stories. <laughs> before I had this band, I was a roadie for many bands, like you were saying, Sublime with Roman. Hold on. Countless Jake, others. do it. Oh, shit. So, stop you right there. Yeah, go. He's got to get his super crowd. technical. Oh, yeah. dude. Everyone? Shh. Oh, oh, everybody, just bear with me, dude. I'm super fucking good at this. Oh, and this one time at band camp? Dude, that was the, that was the best <laughs> one so far. It was louder, okay. I feel like that had the most volume. It did. It did. That cranked. My phone's excited. So I, it's going to be hard to pick one, but I'll pick one that I think this audience may appreciate because it's, it's kind of quirky, but we were touring in Europe a lot a few years back, and when you, when you go to Europe particularly Germany, um, sometimes the promoters that put on the shows will have something called a band flat, which is like the dressing room at the venue just has like six bunk beds and you sleep there and that's your lodging for the night. And there's dicks on the wall and it smells musty and everyone shares one toilet, but th this is the birth of many great band camp stories. But anyways, we were playing somewhere in Germany 
And part of the deal was you got to drink with the promoter afterwards and the sound guy and everyone's getting hammered. And we go upstairs to our band flat because we're like, it's time to go to bed. So everyone goes to bed and then sometime around, I don't know, eight, nine in the morning, Amy wakes up, our singer. She leaves to go use the restroom, which is out in the common area. She comes back and she goes, wakes me up. There's a naked guy on the couch. <laughs> so we're like, oh, geez, okay. We walk outside. It's actually me and our driver, this guy, Alan, who's awesome. He's on the tour with us right now. We walk outside to see the guy who did our sound the night before on our couch, completely naked and completely having a good dream, apparently. <laughs> And so we wake him up to tell him to go to his bed, you know, thinking he'd be mortified, but he wasn't. He kind of just woke up and shook his head, tapped me on the shoulder and said, sorry about that. And went to bed, but... Oh, what was that hand? Yeah, what was that it, hand? it was a little inappropriate, but it got a lot more inappropriate when... So our sister was on the tour with us doing merch, and she had done laundry at this place. And she's like, I'm missing a pair of my underpants. Oh. And then we found them balled up with the sound guy's clothes in the oh. corner. Yeah, I know. That didn't make us feel good. But, <laughs> but like I said, when you tour, there's so many stories. So like, where do you begin? Is that, is that the story you tell? Or that's is that absolutely that's, right yeah. where you begin. OK. Yeah. Oh, well, man. there's one. It is funny. Like, when, when, whenever we do interviews or you know, we have you know, radio or whatever, and that's a question that comes up all the time, like, tell me a crazy story. My head just goes, bing, 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 bing. I'm like, I can't focus on just one. So yes. many it's stories. Hard. Dude, imagine being Amy. You're the only girl in this band, and you're forced to sleep in a dick-riddled, you know, bunk bed. And this is Europe. Yeah. This shit's thousands of years old, dude. Like, fucking cobblestone. Like Mozart dude. stayed on that bunk, dude. He yeah. drew one of the dicks. Is that a musician? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm on Michelangelo played the piano. No, is that yeah. not a fucking? All right. But you get it, dude. Amy. Yeah, having it's to a wake up to that punk rocker, dude. I know, no, for real, and she's been through it. And we actually took a picture of the dude before we woke him up. So I don't know. Should we send the picture and you could put it on your? Oh, Are send you, us oh, that. We, we want to see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We want to see the German boner. When you okay. watch this back, you guys will see a real life German boner on a couch. Yeah. Definitely, we we did an edit where we put an eggplant over it, so you can probably <laughs> put that on the internet. We call John John the eggplant because he has a large. Yeah, thing. what you guys you know what don't, I'm saying. John John and plays the drums purple. with his dick. I don't know if you guys know yeah. that. Those are not sticks. So I want to I want to get into the next part of it. So I think this is a good way to segment into it. Segway. Oh my God. Segment. He's Segments. had two drinks. Segway, Kevin. That's right. Segway, Captain. Not segment. Kevin. <laughs> Have you ever shit your pants? Well, <laughs> we used to have a saying that it's, it's not an interrupter's tour until someone sharts. So I think <laughs> if we can count that, I mean, I'm not saying full on like dirty diapy, but definitely have, have breached, breached the cotton. So, <laughs> uh, You've spackled the you cotton? Know, okay, I'll tell you one about me because I don't want to incriminate any of my other family or band members, although they all have really great stories too. <laughs> Maybe one day they can come on the show. Oh, and we'll share. have them on this tour. For but sure. I'll say this: our very first tour, like I was saying earlier, was with Rancid, and we were—it was the four of us and a merch guy in a minivan, and they were nice enough to let us put our gear in their truck. So, like, it's just in a, us in a minivan with our backpacks, and you know, our very first night on tour, we get kicked out of the Days Inn in Seattle for being too loud. The next show's in Vancouver, so we have to drive over the border, and right before the border, we stopped at like a mobile station and. You know, it was our first tour. We didn't really know how to be on tour in a minivan. So it's lunchtime. We're at a mobile station. I'm like, I'm going to go get some nachos. So you know how they have the nacho machine with the cheese button? And I get the nachos with the cheese and the jalapenos. And I go sit out on the curb. And I'm enjoying my lunch. And we partied the night before. So I, you know, my stomach was doing what it was doing. And I was like, oh, I'm going to let a little one out. And it, it, was a, it got a little more than I bargained for. <laughs> so... I left those undies in the mobile station oh, in Bellevue, yeah. Washington, nice. and I guess that's one. Yeah. So he hit the cheese button on his undies. A dude. lot yeah, of these true. stories end in underwear being left in a gas yes. station trash can. And I crossed the Canadian border commando, yeah. and you know. A lot of them Hell end yeah, too dude. with someone having to use their socks. They have to sacrifice their socks to white. Oh, I yeah. got a good one there, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> oh. I've already told my story. 
Oh shit. I've got a sock one, but I'll save it. So in what? in a bit here, in a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna go live and we're gonna have guests from online being on here telling us stories of them shitting their pants. But before that happens. Wait a minute, Jimbo, you got your mic working? Testies. One, Ooh, two, three. Buddy, you want to share? Does anybody Damn. in this room want to share their story? We got one right yes, here, dude. Yes, you do, sir. Let's hear it. Right, you right want to just meet, no, here, meet, meet Jimbo right up here, dude. Come on up. Dude, my man is oh, wireless. Yeah. Let's let everyone get a good look at you, buddy. I don't want to be judgy, but you look like somebody who shit their pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> true. Tell the story, my friend. All right, I was like in middle school, and I was playing hockey, and... I was a little dude when I was younger. I mean, I'm still little, but... And I got hit so hard, I shit my pants when I was playing on the ice. In oh all of your gear, on the ice? Yep. In my pants. And was I there was brown good. ice afterwards? <laughs> no, it stayed in. It was, it it was, was held. Hard. Oh, okay. Did you continue playing? No, I got rid of it. Yeah, yeah, I would too. Yeah. It, was, it was too squishy, man. Did you have to sit <laughs> in the penalty? Did, yeah. did they put you in the penalty box for that? No. No? no. <laughs> he retired his skates <laughs> after that one. They hung it up. Oh, it was... It was <laughs> it was bad, man. I got a new set of pants. After What's that. your name, brother? Eddie. Eddie, give it Hell up for yeah, Eddie. Eddie. Yes. Yeah. Right <laughs> Thank oh, we you got for another. your bravery. We got another. Yes, we do. Introduce yourself. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Jake LaPointe. I'm from... Uh, oh, Grizzle. I met Jake LaPointe, yeah, at the yeah, show. What's up, bud? How are you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Grizzle, Connecticut. Uh... I didn't shit myself personally, but... Oh, it, come on, Jake! It, it affected me personally. Though. Okay, okay, okay. So when I was in high school, I was on the track team, and we're driving back from an indoor track meet, and, and this girl, uh, she had the flu. So <laughs> they pulled the bus over on the way home from this track meet at 10 o'clock at night, and she has to throw up. So oh, she no. throws up. As she's throwing up, she shits her pants. Oh, no. Oh, poor no. girl. One of those. So the track coach goes out with his sweatshirt, covers her, you know, around the way so <laughs> no one can see what she did. She gets back on the bus. Everyone can smell what she did. <laughs> and uh, my friend's dad was a coach at the time. He was a big uh, chewing tobacco guy. Oh, no. He, uh... You can see him on the front of the bus shoving chewing tobacco up his nose. <laughs> because he does not want to smell what she did. And how it affects me personally is I have a terrible gag reflex. Oh. So as we're driving down, this is an uh, indoor track, so it's like February. In Connecticut, it's like 20 degrees. So we got the windows down, but we can still smell what's going on. Oh. I throw up in my track bag because oh, it nice. smells oh. so bad oh. to me. <laughs> How yeah, that's, that's my so, story. How someone shitting their pants affected me. So <laughs> did she? That. Did she get a, like a nickname for that that lasted no, all the we, rest of her high school life? We were cool about it, you know. She she didn't feel good. We, Thank, we didn't want to. That's good to, to feel hear. Bad for it. That's awesome, dude. Good. That's nice. Yeah. Her name is Shitty Sarah, but you oh, got it, dude. Yeah. That's right. Secondhand shit nightmare. is very deadly. Think yeah, about yeah. that. A high school girl. Shitting her pants and throwing uh, up. Oh my God! What yeah. a nightmare. I guess that's one way to make sure you don't do anal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jimbo. Hey, Jimbo, everyone. Hey, hey baby Jimbo. Jimbo. What's your name? Where are you from? Patrick from Providence. Oh, you, dude, come on up here, you guys. Poor, yeah, let's poor do this. Mark. Poor Mark's gonna throw his shoulder out. Oh, having okay. to do a, There come we go. We want you to be proud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right come on up, guys. Come on over, dude. There he goes. Oh, fucking make yourself comfortable, bud. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. Give him a shot. Sake, him a fucking yeah. shot. If you tell a shit story, you get a shot. I am from Providence, you know. He's all, this is a future shit story where I shit on stage in a minute with you guys. That, that's a funny segue because uh, the story that I have actually, uh, well, I'll preface it with saying that my, my family called me poopy growing up. Because when I was a little boy, I used to shit my pants a lot. But as a grown man, I have a little more restraint. But, uh, my, actually, my ex-wife, uh, she, had, she was a, a liar, cheater, stealer, someone that's always trying to scam on people. Oh, sounds great. Yeah, so, so, so she developed this plan one time to uh, have me take laxatives and go to Walmart when it was raining so I could walk into a Walmart, 
slip and fall and shit my pants. <laughs> oh, she wanted because, you to be the scheme. Yeah. So, so then we could put, you know, get the heavy hit of Rob Levine from Providence on the phone, and uh, you know, Tom Fox, you know, ba bam type shit. Is that a and, local uh, reference? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's Jacoby and Meyer where we live. Yeah. I will or, fight for you. Oh, Larry H. Parker. We got. Yeah. Larry yeah. H. Parker. So, needless to say, it never happened, but, you know, she, she was always one to try and put that on me to get up there and, uh... So you, you know, didn't shit your pants? No. Oh, you son of a bitch! Take your shot! Tease. What the fuck? this man! Tease. All right, we're gonna need to get this guy a bowl of fondue. Hey, and I think you need he's to go the in the stammer. back, eat the whole thing, and shit your pants, and then come back up here and tell the story. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling like I really put myself out there earlier. <laughs> you know shit what I mean? your pants. Shit yeah, your, your pants. pants. Shit your pants. Shit your pants. Guys, let me Call tell you the that rules. Lawyer. The right. rules are your poop has to hit your underwear or pants. It's pretty fucking simple. This guy's got a perfect pair of fucking undies on. He's, He's walking up there talking around about with clean shooting. dockers. Let me ask you something, buddy. Did poop come out of your butt and hit your pants? Twice. At a baby. Yeah. That's it. At a baby. Twice. Twice. Get up. Two times that. <laughs> oh, he's coming up. Get up. Get him up he's here. Coming. Get him up here. Pooper in the oh, house. Oh, the guitar. Oh, oh, that wasn't you. Don't worry about it. That was. Uh... We're gonna blame that on the other guy because he didn't shit his pants. Let's get the fucking guitar out of here, Anthony. Where are Anthony. you? Anthony. Where's our security <laughs> guard? He, he sets the guitar up here, then walks. Oh, you know what? He, oh. Hey, look, doesn't Anthony look like he works at Hot Topic? <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, buddy. He's the oh. best. Sorry. If you How want an Avril Lavigne poster, he'll be in the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's so hear what, what's your name? Just go right. John. My name is John. All what's right, up, John? John? So uh, I shit my pants twice. <laughs> the first time was on a Razor scooter. It wasn't really a big oh. deal. It wasn't, wasn't a, a big, big deal. deal. No, just, That's a huge deal, dude. No, I have no idea what it was. I was trying to do one of those things, and then <laughs> like I just a little bit of shit came out, and I was like, <laughs> I clenched my chin. I was like, oh, I shit my pants. That was the first time I shit my pants. It's a true story, <laughs> and I have no idea why it just happened. But the uh, the second time, I actually don't. I, I don't know if you can consider this shit in your pants, but... Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, it better no, be wait, shit no, in your no, pants. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, at least it went up my back. If that oh, is, that's a full. So, that's a rooster uh, tail. So that's that's, that's actually called. bonus. Have, that's a uh, bonus. My, my, my best friend here, uh, Adrian, uh, we were on a camping trip, a 10-day camping trip in Forked Lake, New York. It's, uh, it takes a while to get there. You have to kayak, hold nine yards, or way, way away from anything. Anyways, he started pissing me off. And so I can't even remember really what it came to it. We ended up being, I brought Everclear. It's like the only thing I could carry because it, it, it's, packs, it packs a punch. You know what I mean? You're going, you're, hey, you're camping. You want to carry the little as you can. It's Everclear. <laughs> so anyway, so I maybe drank a little bit too much Everclear and Kool-Aid liquid drops. And uh, he was pissing me off. So um, I had a shit. So we were swimming in the water and... I shit in the water and I saw it behind me. I picked it up. <laughs> I picked it up and I threw it at him. It was, oh! yeah! For the win. Uh, it's a true yeah. fucking story, I swear to God. <laughs> Did you learn that move at the zoo? Uh, cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. that is zero, my Yeah. Man. Fuck yeah, dude. Adrian, that true? Appreciate it. You got the shit stain to prove it on a shirt somewhere? You didn't get hit, oh, hit Atta Boy. I missed. You missed. I All right. Hey, dude, I respect that. He has good ideas, but not good aim. That's okay. <laughs> Do it we have any more me, pants shit? We got another pants shitter. Like a little brown, oh, a brown trout. Get on up here, bud. <laughs> Come on, bloody duddy. He's all I had. Took a bloody poopy. Give him that. You're gonna need that. Well, it wasn't bloody, thank God. Oh, for <laughs> F's sake. Oh, wow. You want to scoot over? Come on, yeah, Kevin. I'm gonna wanna scoot. We're squishing Kev Kev. And this chair is going in the garbage after this <laughs> podcast, for sure. Well, this is gonna be story number three, but. No, nah, first one was on our way to Pennsylvania with the family. And on the way up, I mean, I think I was about 12, I had stomach issues. Wasn't feeling it. Well, 
It happened. Shit myself. I'm in the back seat of a you know three seat van. I'm embarrassed. I'm with the family, so I just undress, kind of stuff it in the side compartment. Cool. Oh shit! You don't it's tell anyone. Tried to keep it under wraps. Yeah. You know, oh. I don't want to tell you what happened. Wow. Well, we were up there for a few days, and on the way back, dad's complaining. Dad's complaining. We're gonna blame it on dad. Well, that was story number one. He still doesn't know the story. About a couple months later, he comes up to me and he's like, I know what you did. Last summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Had to do it. Yeah, well, basically he bought a new van. Um, wow. Story number two was snowboarding uh, with a group of friends. Hit a big jump, that's cool. You land, that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> What do you gotta do? You gotta get to the bottom. You get to the bottom. Well, there's no bathroom there. You're halfway through the mountain, so you gotta ride the chair all the way back up. Oh. You gotta ride the chair all the way back up to the top, and ride your shit all the way back down to the bottom. Oh, oh damn! That poor chair. Oh, that, another you know, chair we're gonna burn after this. Well, time. I mean, oh, you know, we, we'll never find it. Yeah, well, there's a couple dirty seats that. <laughs> a couple dirty seats that hopefully no one ever wrote again. You got it. Well, story three. I just did. No! Hey, you hey, fucking hey, did just shoot his yeah. pants, everyone. Shot. At a boy. <laughs> he didn't no, just shoot his pants. We're no. good. He didn't shit his pants. Cool. At a boy. <laughs> What's your name? Hey. Mike. Thanks, Mike. Mike. Give it up for Give Mike, up for everybody. Mike. Way to share, bud. Do we have any more brave souls? Should we just pull people up on Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Oh, there's oh, female there shitter. Dude, I gotta say. Whenever we do the live on Instagram or Facebook shit stories, the women kick the shit out of the dudes. Oh, yeah. No pun intended. What, what is your name, sweetie? Hello, my name is Megan. Would you like a shot? Sure. Yeah, you would, girl. Well, Megan. It is right, delicious, yeah. right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hello. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Here's the surviving shit of the pan. I'm not, I'm not letting you do this alone. Shit happens. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Add a girl. Let's see. She's got a skunk on her arm that's shitting as well. So, oh my God, that's awesome. Uh, that's your lady. Mega fart. Oh my God. Hey, yeah. You know what? It's uh, hereditary. It runs in the genes. Literally runs in the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear your shit story. Well then, it was in junior high. I uh, had a phobia of using other toilets. I got so, that. Was, yeah, I'm with you on that. Still got that. You know, yeah. it's more comfortable at home. Yes. So waited a while, waited a while, and I, was, I couldn't wait no longer. There was a turtle head popping out, and I said, I gotta call mom. Uh, so I went to the office and said, hey, I'm gonna be sick. And they said, she was too late. My mother was too late. It already dropped. You it tried to wait dropped. for your mom to come I pick you up? and it. my mother to come. Oh, and damn it. And here's teachers talking to me, and I'm so uncomfortable, and I'm sitting there with, like, little Try. logs in my, like, cotton candies, <laughs> oh, and I'm no. just like, yeah, I'm just waiting. But, uh, you know, years go by, and life's a big lesson. You keep on... Go through the shit to get to the good stuff. And That's right. That's right. That's right. I like that. Thank you. Now I am comfortable shitting anyway. Yeah, yeah. I was say, oh, moral right. of the story is, <laughs> just go. Don't yeah. be like, I don't want to use this bathroom. Trust me, it's better than your pants. Look, this ties back into the theme yeah. of the show. Sometimes you're scared to do something, everyone. Okay? <laughs> you don't want to be 80 and be like, I haven't shit in 80 years. Just sit down on it. No, but I feel you on that because... We, dude, on tour, it seems glamorous. It's so funny. I'm a barber, guys. So everyone at my barber shop is like, you fucking got to go on tour, bro. You're going to be partying in fucking limos and you're going to fly in a Lamborghini onto a fucking bus under the water, fucking torpedo party. You know, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm at a flying J fucking laying down toilet paper origami style so my ass doesn't hit the seat that 75 truckers just dumped it. Oh, for Indivity. fuck's sake, dude. I hate to do it, everybody. Where's the fuck? God damn it, dude. So, so here's what everyone thinks tour is. Huge titties. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking butt 
that's in me just back here going, watch this, it's just, nice booby, you know, and then she's like, yeah, I like your face, and then we're all partying together, but what's really happening, because I'm married and have a kid and don't get to even, I look at boobies, but I don't touch them. You got it, dude. This is what's really happening on tour, okay? It's fucking me in a bus that's broken fucking down, and here's a flying J, dude, fly, you got it, J, and here's a toilet out in front of the flying J, dude, and this motherfucker, this is a fat bug trucker with boobs and shit, but he's a guy that, and he just shit all over the, and then here comes Jakey Poo in my fucking surf life. And I'm just walking with trunks and sandals. And then I look, here's my eyeballs, and I see the toilet. And then I gotta wipe the fucking toilet like Chad in. And then I got, here's a toilet paper roll. There's some tape. I use almost the whole roll. Look, 100% of the roll. I use it to cover the fucking, like, you know how you do, you do the backwards one? You put a side, and then there's, this is the, this is the trouble area. You gotta lay, and then I gotta do, Three layers deep, bro. These are thin <laughs> pegs, dude. And now I got no TP on my ass. This is where my ass is, dude. Six inches <laughs> between me and the toilet, dude. I'm on my fucking cell phone. Now there's shit residue on my phone. Here I am, dude. I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm FaceTiming my child. He's... <laughs> Like he's fucking dad, dad. He doesn't even. And I'm shitting in a flying J, all right? Yeah, you got it, dude. You got it. Yeah, yeah, guess what? I'm dusting pubic hairs off of every fucking toilet. Yeah, that's tour life, for real. All right. Get the fuck out of here, if you were wondering, now you know. Other than that, I have not much really thoughts about it. <laughs> but life is a big lesson, and you keep on learning. Atta That's girl, right. dude. Thank you. You're a fucking legend. Right on. Any more? Any more? Any more? Josh, should we just go to Instagram right now? Connect that, so baby. We're all connect in this that. Together. Okay, so, we're gonna play a game. Before we connect, oh, they're gonna hear us if we tell the rules. Fuck. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. They don't fuck. Who knows? No, they can't hear the rules. They can't hear the rules. There, there's no. Uh, what do I write? I'm not lying. Dude, here's the deal. Mark, don't show. Mark, blackout. Don't show this. Part. Lighting guy, blackout. Yeah, black us out. Everyone online, the you can on hear the us. The switch so, is on the wall. The, the switch over there. Hit we, the switch. We want to do it. It's on the wall. It. Yeah. No, look at Mark. Do the hand, bro. <laughs> All right, we want to do a drinking game with you guys. So you guys are on our team, right? So it's us. We're gonna we're gonna bring some people up on Instagram. Let's have them tell their shit stories. But we gotta I'm gonna come up with a word that I'm gonna write on this board and show you guys. Every time someone says that word, we drink together. Everybody cool? drinks. So we gotta think of a word that they're probably gonna say, but they're not gonna know what it is because Mark's gonna cover the camera right now. It's not yeah, yeah. We're going black. Every new person we bring up will change the word so no one catches on. So first word, don't say it, anybody. Basic shit, basic shit. We got it. Okay, we got it. Bring on. We want a shit story on the screen, bro. Yeah, Josh, can you? Can we connect? We're, it might take us a second. We're figuring this out as we go. But like we said, first time. We're going to try to connect them up here. First time doing this. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. Firstly and foremostly, Jimbo Jackie. Get oh, yeah, Jimbo up here, Jackie, dude. get up here. I'm We're bringing now. Jimbo Jackie back up for the shit storm. We'll, we'll scoot down. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yes. Is this your drink, bud? That's my drink. Man, I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah. boy. Yeah. All right. Yes, you are. Rhode Island, I love you. Yes. And we'll try to we'll try to get out of the way of the TV so you guys can see everyone right here along with us. Yeah. Oh, is that not going to go up on those? Oh yeah, Mark, zoom in on this TV when people connect so it will go up on those for everyone. Yeah. Look at how fucking Actually, shit, you'll probably look at how professional we are. We have an Apple TV. Damn. Dude. You guys want to watch Netflix or and chill? It's HP Blow. You got to put that code in. <laughs> Fuck, we suck. Six, <laughs> Everyone nine. knows our code. Uh, that's his ATM code as well. That's right. Uh. What is? Oh, 
that's fucking adorable. Hey, there we are, everyone. Hey. Look at that. Go like. Hey, Mark, show the crowd real quick. Let's give them some shine on Instagram, dude. Everybody, look at Mark over look there. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Live from the Whiskey Republic in Providence. Here we go, y'all. Shit stories. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Tales of the shit side. Except that request, Josh. Except that request. We are going to listen. <laughs> oh, this guy looks like a shitter. I know a shitter <laughs> when I see one. You can tell. This all happened by accident because of the cheese episode. You guys all listened to episode one? Yeah, dude. Cheese told the story about oh, shitting his it, pants. Oh, look, we got one. And we here got we go. one. What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, wait, 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 wait. How do Mark? we hear this guy? Volume on the TV? How do we hear it? Give us that volume hitter. We're going to figure it Hold out. Hold on. Give, give us it, one second. Give us one second. We can't hear you. Instagram man. All right. Nice one. Don't Tell worry. It. We believe you shit yourself. Dude, Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's all, it's in my pants right now. Can you hear me now? Can we hear you now? Jim? Jim? Can you hear me now? Oh, Jim. Were you naming? No, that's not working. That's not working. That way? Oh. I don't think that's going to work, guys. <laughs> Type us in your shit story. Wow. All right, you want to hear my shit story? Okay. Mark, we can hear you like you're in a fucking helicopter telling us the traffic report right now. <laughs> Holy shit, Mark. Mark sounds like a morning show guy. Yeah. <laughs> We're checking it out at clean 67 uh, degrees in uh, Providence, Rhode <laughs> Island. Uh, downtown Providence, 67. Uptown Providence, 67. Coming in at a cool 67. Bound. All right. Hey, disconnect him real quick. Sorry, buddy. We're going to figure this out. Sorry, bearded man who absolutely looks like he shits it's himself. It's not your fault. It's Mark's fault. Look. So that went well. <laughs> That went exactly as planned, everybody. Here we go, Mark. I hate to fucking do it. Oh, I'm breaking it out. Are you doing it? No. Dry erase. Let's let's turn that down for a yeah, hot sec. <laughs> right now. If Holy that doesn't turn down fuck. soon, I'm gonna shit my pants right now. Is that an es extraterrestrial trying to tell us? Oh I once flew God, by Earth and shit my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the poor sound guy. Everyone give it up for this. This dude, we called him last minute. If you guys saw how hard he was working today, literally dripping sweat, running around, setting up all these speakers, dude. And we're, my, we're throwing a lot of shit. No pun. <laughs> my favorite part of him was today, it was like maybe noon. And, you know, the, the, the manager came. He said, hey, can I get any of you guys like a drink, some water or something? He goes, Jack and Coke. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was like, fuck yeah, me too. Nice. <laughs> That's yes, his water. Thank you, sir, for keeping me on board. He's all, there's uh, ice cubes in there. I'm no. hydrating. So, all right, we'll work on that, dude. I so I shit my gonna happen. You don't think I don't so? think that live thing is going to happen. Let him work it out, y'all. But regardless, this was fucking fun. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. I'm going to give them a minute or two if they feel yeah. like they do. If not, we're not going anywhere. We're going to hang out at the bar all night. We're going to have drinks with the guys. If you guys want to hang out, nice. fucking, then it's all good. But for now, I will tell you an intense story about lime scooters. Oh, this is, this is yeah. fucking real. You guys know people. what I'm talking about? This is real. The electric, sco the electric scooters that you see parked everywhere? Yeah. Let's just say that there's one person who's no longer on this tour because of those scooters. Oh. Yes. We show up in Nebraska. Uh, somewhere. We're sure. somewhere. I don't know where. We're in a day it off. Was a place. I forget where. And we get out of our bus, right? And we see the merch dude for the Dirty Heads, who's the sweetest guy ever. Big, super tall Jake dude Lane, named Jake. Fucking awesome dude. Jake, if you're watching, wish you the best, baby. Holy shit, guys. So, <laughs> me and all the, 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 the dirty, dirty, the feeling good with Duddy guys, we get off our bus and we see Jake. And he's, we say, where's there some coffee in this town? He's a coffee connoisseur. He knows of a bitchin' spot one mile away. Let's walk, we say. He says, oh no, we shall take Lime scooters. They're so fucking fun. So we all sign up for Lime on the spot. 
We, we open up four scooters that are right there, and we start shredding, fucking Dogtown style. We're going off curb. <laughs> oh, we're high-fiving. We get to the coffee shop, and we all look at each other, and we're like, these should be illegal, 1,000%. Yeah. Like, we almost died 75 times on the way to the coffee shop, but we made it on the way back. Not, we, we had just said to each other, we're like, these should, these should not be legal. They go, like, almost 30. You know, we're just, boop, cook, kicking airs. Just as we say that, we're flying down a hill, and I see Jake, dude. He's two people ahead of me. I got Big Red in front of me, and I got Jake dude, ahead of me. And this Jake, dude is like 6'6". Six, six. Like, he's a big fucking dude. He's the biggest vegan I've ever fucking seen, dude. <laughs> I'm like, how much broccoli do you eat? Well, bro? he says it. He'll be the first to say. He'll be like, I'm vegan because I'm this big. I'm trying to not be this dude. big. Top heavy He's motherfucker. He's a big stuff. fucking dude. And he hit the ground. Bro, I just see a rolling Sasquatch, dude. <laughs> And the poor dude, all right, I know this is a fucking downer, but he's okay. Homie cracked his skull, <laughs> fractured a rib, oh. and fractured his face, his face. entire eye closed. In two places. He fractured his face in two places. Dude. I've never even heard that. There's not even two places on your face. How? Have one face. <laughs> There's several. Have you ever heard someone say, I fractured my face? Yeah, face fracture, <laughs> no. dude. I'll see his face fracture. It's a standard face. It's not a thing. This poor guy. So all love to you, Jake. We're all here to Jake. thinking of you, big boy. To Jake. To Jake. Yeah, buddy. Get better. Dude, I, I canceled my... And here's the worst part. I didn't shut the ride off. I hopped in, I hopped in a lift and went straight to a, an emergency room with him. And I look at my bank account and saw, you spent $29 on lime skin. I went a half a fucking mile. <laughs> I left the thing on, dude. It was just counting the minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, up until someone came along and bloop and drove off, dude. Ah. It's all good. I'd at least I have my face. So. That's right. <laughs> How are we feeling over there on the sound? You need a little minute? Are we moving past? Mark. Come on, what do you need? A dude, you look like Jean-Claude Van Damme from behind right now, dude. This motherfucker's oh. looking fit Jean as a Claude fiddle. Jean-Claude sound man. Yep. jean God Van there Damme it. Yeah. a boy. a boy. Any minute, he's going to put two chairs a little bit apart, and he's going to do a splits Just on top of them. Just the splits. <laughs> and then and at one point, you'll see his butt. He always shows yep. his butt. Big Van Damme, he always shows his ass. Tom Cruise always sprints in every movie. Van Damme, got to give you a butt hitter, dude. It's, <laughs> it's in the contract. Uh, yeah, dude. Well, you, that ain't going to happen. We're going to move past that. First time, we tried to go live. Didn't wait a minute, work. wait a minute. Could we, not just, could we not just turn the TV up a lot? Hey, boys, we're going to try something just absolutely yeah, we groundbreaking. That. We tried that. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah, it didn't work. Maybe I just get them on my phone and hold it up to the phone. <laughs> it's been working so well earlier. Yeah, it. it's been perfect so far. What are we doing, David? You're going live with somebody. Atta, right, baby. Let's give it a go. Sometimes go you're em. scared to do things, everyone. Well, you got to connect with one of them, Josh. Hit one up, whoever. Whoever. Oh, this chick told us a shit story already. What's up? What do you think? We'll do one or two more. And then we'll just drink. And we then don't we'll need to. We'll hang out. What, what? You guys having fun? What's Is it still fun? Story? Thank you guys. Nice. Right. Tyler Sawmiller. Sawmiller sounds like a diarrhea guy. You guys are making me, me want to have a shit story. Do you have one? Yes, but I'm not telling it. Yes, you are. After tell Tyler, it, she's telling tell it. it. Tell it. Tell it. Cancel tell Tyler. It. Cancel tell Tyler. It. Tyler, we'll come back to you. Tell it. Have you ever heard such a sweet oh, voice? Oh, look at say, this. Look at these girls. I still do. This? These girls do not shit. No, absolutely no, they not. They do not shit. Never. They're like Kim Jong Un. They just process that shit yeah, out. And they hit uh, 18 hole in ones on <laughs> one golf round. <laughs> look at that. You're the best. We'll take anything cold. There it is. Hey, where's David? There it is. 
Jim, I think we're all good. I just need to feel good, and I'm feeling good oh, I right think we're now. All doing man. Good. Tito's and Coke, Frank. I think I'm we're good. gonna feel really good. I got, really a, I, got a, I got a shot. I got vodka. I got Jack. What more do I need? I got beautiful bunch people of awesome from Rhode people. Island. Yeah. Can you even understand when she? No one with that voice. I shit myself have stuff for one Shamsky's? time in my life, y'all. Should we Shamsky up the crowd? Yeah. 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 How do we do that? We, we, need, we need everybody in this fucking crowd to have a Shamsky. Is that a, <laughs> is that a possibility, though? Or We're are we just saying, like, everyone here should have a jet of their own? Hey, this is in. just like when I tell people to tag me and I'll send you something. You might yeah. not get that Shamsky. <laughs> but you know what? As long as you tag us. Here comes David. Look at oh! that. There it is. It's a thought that counts. Is that champagne? What is that? Oh, that's There's the There's champagne thing. and Jameson right there, All my right. friend. Oh. It's a party. Champ it up. Champ it up. You have a shambong? Yeah. There we go. I'll, I'll shambong Come with up you. here. Come on. I'll shambong with you. I'll shambong with you. Come on. Jimbo and Jackie, the inventor of shamskis and the shambong. You... You first, you first, and I'll go second, okay? All You're right. champing. What? You only have one shambong. You guys have a shambong? You got a second one? Yes. It's on the bar, baby. It's on the bar. Oh, Wait, what? She says you can shambong. That's what I'm talking about. You shambong, then I'll shambong. Oh, wait, 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 Double shamboner. A shambong is a champagne beer bong. This should not be a fucking thing, by the way. This is stupid. I love you. Are you, oh. are you guys having fun? We don't want that. We don't want that. We know it's a bit of a shit show. We're figuring it out. But thank you guys for being here with us. Good with shambongs. Dude. <laughs> now load a bull into that thing and let's get all stinky up here. Oh. <laughs> all right. What better time Jackie, than now to hear Jackie's you know? shit the pants story? Yeah. The girl. Twan, the, twan, twan. the beautiful pooper got loose. What happened, gorgeous? <laughs> Tell the story. <laughs> It's all right. I, I've, I've never told anybody this story ever in my freaking life. Really? Ever. No, not even you. Oh, oh, here we go. This is a safe place, right? This is a judgment-free zone here. Don't worry. Safe, right. is it a Nobody's safe haven? listening. The big reveal. Here we go. So I was a little youngin, and for some reason I was in the bathtub taking a bath, and I was probably. Six years old. Or 16. <laughs> and I'm in the bathtub and my bubbles are going. And I got a picture somewhere. I have the little thing on that you put used to put on your hair so it wouldn't get all curly and all wet. And so I'm sitting there, I was like, I gotta poop. And I pooped in the tub and <laughs> put it down the drain. No! With your little hand? No. You, you got a smush! It. You have the finger smush to oh. get down there. So <laughs> it was like I didn't have to get out of the tub, and so I started doing it, and my stepdad was like, you've been putting shit down the Because <laughs> it stopped up the shit in our house. Wow. Oh, man. No. And I got to be me. honest, some things never change. She <laughs> <laughs> I caught her last week shoving shit oh, down yeah. there. <laughs> she was like, I'm just trying to relive my it's childhood. Called, yeah. It's called Jim's exes. Shove yeah. them down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are the best. That's a horrible story. No. I, I was six, Good I didn't story. know any better. Hey, hey, if you haven't shoved shit down a bathtub uh, drain, then you haven't lived, how right? Fucked up is it? That tells you how messed up children's brains are. <laughs> I wasn't developed. It didn't develop. No, well, that's because at that 20s. age, you're like, I'll get away with it. Yeah. yeah. yeah and that's what you're thinking. And it's like, no, you fucking that's won't, you idiot. <laughs> that story came out in a psychiatrist's couch. She actually yeah. shoved it to the back of her brain. 
She's like, she's what's on the this couch look like? That looks like a butterfly. Yeah, he's what's like, this look like? Shit in a drain. Everything's Whoa, wet. What is that? I see wetness and brownness. <laughs> Every, okay, go with this guy, and I'm shoving. And it's squishy. <laughs> I right. swear to God, you can't, you can't make that shit up. No. Oh. She Has said anyone, shit, everybody. No. Get in there. Hey. Has anyone else ever shoved shit down a drain? Anybody? Any? Bueller? Oh, Bueller? Mark. Mark? Yes. Yay, Mark. Mark. <laughs> Mark, get up here, you son of a bitch. And he was born before drains. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just sympathy. I, I think it was just making it so it wasn't oh, awkward. Yeah. So you were not alone. So I too shoved shit down drains. <laughs> and there you. The waffle oh, stomp. Oh, the waffle stomp. Because you stomp it down and then you eat it with syrup? I don't understand, Mark. No, that's a sex move. That's a sex move is if you poop on someone's face fun. and then you hit them with a tennis racket, that's a Belgian waffle. <laughs> That's fucking science. Everyone knows that. Come on. That's just sexual science. I don't know why anyone has an issue. Dude, Tyler. Wait, that 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 freaking guy, that Tyler, guy wants to tell a shit story. Hit He's him up. Aching. Hit him up, Josh. He's dying, huh? Dude, Tyler, we will hear your story. Oh, look at his picture. What was that? That looked like me, like, mixed with Donald Trump. That was weird. What is that? Why is that me? With a red hat, Donald Trump hat on. What they is want, that? They want you to be president, Daddy. Daddy for president. Daddy for president. Dude, I tell you right now, if I'm president, we're having three lunches and Coca-Cola in the water fountains, motherfuckers. Hell yeah. And I want to thank all of the teachers and the faculty, by the way. First of all. So the video surfaces of him going, when I see a guy, I just grab him by the dick. It's not good. Had anyone, I don't want a kale cranberry salad. Had what anyone heard of kale before six years ago? I feel like kale just fucking jumped into the scene, right? I'm down with some of the other things that jumped in, like cauliflower jumped in. It's fucking it's Dude, dope. cauliflower's been around Brussels forever. Brussels sprouts? Bro. Brussels have I mean, been lurking for kale? years, son. Fuck but, you, kale. Fuck you, kale. Kale just stepped into, as soon as Whole Foods came out, they said, fuck off, Broccoli. I'm Kale, dude. Let's fucking party, dude. I haven't wiped. Kale is Jim's favorite. He loves kale and cauliflower. I like cauliflower. Yeah? What do you like about kale? I do not like the smell. It smells like a rhino's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be honest. When of which he sniffed many. <laughs> but, you're saying, but you're saying that the texture or taste is good? It ain't bad. I don't but mind some kale, dude. Ain't bad. Yeah. I don't mind kale. <laughs> you like kale. You like kale. You're kale, a kale person. Kale. Well, we also heard that you shit your pants earlier. Yeah, so yep. Yeah. <laughs> says so. a lot about kale people. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's a natural laxative. Keeps you regular. <laughs> Anyone else online want to tell us about sh not uh, wiping? Should we wrap this up and just have some drinks? I don't know. Let's do it. Let's there wrap it go. up. We heard some great stories. <laughs> Dude, look at that one. Dude, I've been a vegetarian for 15 years, and I don't even fuck with kale. Dude, I told you. <laughs> fuck kale. Can we, you know what? Oh, wait. One more, y'all, right? 400,000 people trying to invade Area 51. I think we can get 500,000 trying to say fuck kale for oh. sure. Oh, for Josh, sure. you got a shit story, bud. Josh. Let's Josh. hear it, Josh. Josh. Get up here. Josh, Josh is Josh. man behind the scenes. Josh, 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 Josh. Come on. You look like the Josh looks like the last guy in every Van Damme movie ever. Yeah. Uh, you're the last guy in every Van Damme movie. That's right, dude. You're the dude who just says like one word oh, in English, dude. like I kill you. Very That's three good. words. That's three. I get that. Three. That's three. Brick. Words. Don't hit back. Oh, wow, that was my favorite. That's okay, USA. This is all blood sport. Are you guys with us? I, I don't, I don't are we on? Shit story, though. What? I don't think I have a shit story, though. Oh, that's oh, okay. okay. No, no. Dude, you guys, Josh is, is so fucking special, bro. This guy could not, I can never imagine you shitting yourself. He's, He's so, so well clean. thought out. He plans his shits. He, he looks does. so clean. Ahead. <laughs> he, he, t he looks at his shits and says, get the fuck back in there. And they go, yeah. okay. <laughs> right behind Josh is David. David owns Reamp Studios. He's the reason that this Feeling Good with Dirty podcast started. Yeah. Let's give it up in for the David. First place. Give it up for David. 
and David's daughters are here. Any poopy Yay. stories, ladies? Get up here. We know they shit their pants, that's for sure. Yeah. Right, Quick story about David's youngest daughter who's right there. She's 10 years old, and we were at Top Golf a few days ago, and we were talking about Grand Theft Auto, and she's all, I've been playing that since the first one. <laughs> and I'm like, you're 10. That <laughs> shit came out 22 years ago. <laughs> Liar. And, then, yeah. and I have not let her live that down since, and I never will. And then we proceeded to light off 4,000 fireworks in the parking lot of our hotel, and not one cop came by. Yeah. Uh, it was insane. Same America. night. America. Well, I don't know. Th I mean, give it up for Kevin from The Interrupters for coming by. Say thanks to Kevin. Everybody find Red Page online and give him a follow right now. Red Page loves go. follows. Jimbo and Jackie, everybody. We got Mark behind the camera over here working the fucking angles. And you and guys. We got Martin back here. Martin. Martin from Colombia. Yeah. He's leaving tomorrow. He's been on this whole tour with us, but he has to go home tomorrow. Martin's We're going home out tomorrow. To We're so sad. We got Anthony Aww. right here, the big, tall, gentle giant. Wave at everybody. Yes, yes. Yeah. That guy shits his pants every day. Hell yeah. He, he works at Hot Topic at the local mall. Uh. Wah, 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 wah. But seriously, can you thank them enough? Give it up for Freeland Good with Daddy with Jake B. Yeah! Jim and Jackie, love you guys. Thank we you. We love for you guys. Us. I love think we're gonna so call much. it.